The space shuttle was originally designed to be a low-cost way of getting things into space, and it was meant to be very reliable. After the Challenger loss, we realized it wasn't all that reliable, and it was also determined to be expensive compared to launching things on unmanned rockets. The other supposed use for the shuttle was as a mobile space laboratory, a place where valuable scientific experiments could be conducted. But the science wasn't getting done. Instead, the shuttle was being used merely as a ferry to take parts up to the immensely costly International Space Station. In recent years, the majority of space shuttle missions have been launched to assemble the International Space Station. However, they are not conducting very much science during the assembly phase. The scientific community in the United States were and are disappointed that the International Space Station is taking so long to construct. So there is a lot of pressure on the agency to do a science mission. NASA had to do something to justify the $4 billion a year it was spending on the shuttle. So Columbia, the oldest craft in the fleet, was fitted with a state-of-the-art space laboratory. This mission would be the first to use it. It meant that for NASA and the seven astronauts on board, there was a lot at stake. For 16 days, everything went according to plan. The team worked round the clock on their experiments. If we didn't work 24 hours a day, we'd be giving up eight hours of sleep time that could otherwise be used for science. So the intent is to pack each minute of the 24 hours that we're on orbit with science. There are experiments from earth sciences, physical sciences, and life sciences. Really try to get a good idea of what happens to the human body in space and how we can use that information down here on Earth. There's one that looks at dust aerosols in the atmosphere to see if they can characterize where certain dust storms originate and then what effects, if any, they have on the environment looking at ozone, particularly looking at, say, things like uh, global warming and improving our ability to predict uh, if that's happening. After two weeks in space, the science mission was declared a triumph. All that was left was to gather their results, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and come home. Entry is a, a little bit better than launch, you know, it's, it's a little quieter, it's, it's not quite as violent, and uh, you can enjoy it a little bit. At the end of 16 days, we'll deorbit, we'll come back and land, slowing from 17,000 plus miles per hour down to 200 plus miles per hour. Rick, husband, our commander, will make a smooth landing and the mission will be over.